so welcome guys and today i am with another interesting problem which is from uh, again csir december uh, 2017 and it is from set c question number 90 okay so you have given this dine and obviously there is a a star linkage and then you are given two condition first lda tbdms cell so tbdms cell is a protecting group it is a silicon protecting group tart butyl uh, tart butyl dimethyl silen chloride that is uh, so silicon you have a tart butyl group two methyl group and there is a chlorine group okay so this is tb sorry tbdms cell okay this is your protecting group and next step is uh, this dye so what will be the products you have given four options i will show you later the four options so first of all you have to know what will be the uh, role of lda so let's uh, see what will happen so when we react this compound with lda uh, you will get in all it okay because lda lda is lithium diisopropyl amide n minus this this is lda li plus lithium diisopropyl amide so this will abstract a proton from here so that's why you are getting this in all it now you have tbdms cl so uh, tbdms cl this will attack here and silicon will go so you will get this enolet uh, o o t b d m s c l okay and obviously obviously you have to look about the stereochemistry of this uh, double bond uh, um and this double bond will be such that uh, this group will be trans to this tbd uh, uh, tbdps because uh, it will be uh, this group this tbdms group is very large and it will be trans to it so this will be your enolate and that doesn't matter of course because final product this is your chemistry will not be there so you have this enolate now you are introducing uh your dye in the second so this is your first step after first step you will get this now in the second step you have you, you are giving this uh, dye which is also again a star c o m e here okay so this is your dinophile part and this is your dye part so obviously the reaction between them is a uh, diels alder reaction so this is a diels alder reaction and you have to write it in a proper way so you have uh, this tbdms okay and now you have to write it in a proper way so how you have to write it you have to write it like this so co2 me and this now why i am uh, writing this group like this so you can write it like this also CO2 Me or if you can write it like this also CO2 Me okay so these three possibly either it can write you in say A B C and another option is you can write it like this D so four possibilities of writing this uh, di uh, dinophile in front of this dye. but uh, if uh, among this this i i am choosing this option a why so there are two factors one is uh, you have to know the basic uh, rule of the rules of the diels alder reaction cyclization reaction so first of all the the product should be endo product endo means if you have any carbonyl group or other group which can interact with the pi electron cloud so here let's uh, it is a ester group so it can interact with the pi electron cloud so it will it will be also placed in the inner side that is uh in the diels alder reaction in the transition state a double bond will be forming over here okay and this pi uh, pi this uh, carbonyl group or other group so in this case it is carbonyl group so this carbonyl group can interact with this pi electron cloud but if you write it in this way like 
uh, it is in the uh, other direction of this pi volt so it cannot interact with this uh, with this pi volt so i will discuss it in later video uh, where i will discuss the basic uh, basic principles of the pericyclic reactions but uh, at that moment you consider that uh, for uh, if there is a uh, carbonyl or other groups like that say um, a star keto or that type of group or there is a another double bond here so they, they will also be placed in the inner direction okay so the uh, it is placed because it, it has to interact with this developing pi electron cloud so uh, these these possibilities these possibilities ruled out okay this one and this one now why i am writing this this carbonyl group in the upper side and not not in the down side so in this case again you have to consider another electronic factor that uh, you have to match the uh, in this pericyclic reaction the reaction is occurring between the homo of this compound and lumo of this compound or the lumo of this com com component and homo of this component and you have to match the homo lumo exactly now uh, the, the coefficient of the homo and lumo is distributed in such a way that in, that in this particular orientation their overlap is maximum and in this orientation their overlap is not so so much high so let's suppose if there uh, if its homo's coefficient is large here and small here then its lumo's coefficient will be large here and small here okay so this is the match this is the perfect match and in this case it will be mismatch okay so this is why it is not occurring and uh, so you can ignore the homo lumo concept this, this is the actual concept but you, you ignoring this homo lumo concept you can just simply uh, think what will happen that you, if you push the lone pair so if you push the lone pair you will see that if attack occurs over here then only the negative charge can be stabilized in the carbonyl group so let's say let let do it in a clear way so uh, you have the group you have the group like this uh, okay so sorry here it is given this now you have oxygen over here and uh, so this is your uh, TBDMS okay and you have your carbonyl group over here right so you are pushing your lone pair here and this double bond is this negative charge is stabilized into the carbonyl group okay so if, if you draw in this way then only this uh, after attack this negative charges can be stabilized in this carbonyl group if you draw it in other way if you draw it in other way say you have the keto the ester group over here then this negative charge will be generated here okay so it is not the right orientation so in the thermal pericyclic this is a thermal pericyclic reaction in the thermal pericyclic uh, cyclarization reaction you have to place the two diene and dienophile component in such a way that match this electronic factor that is uh, attack the after attack the negative charge can be stabilized so this is a uh, simplified concept it is not the exact explanation of this because this reaction doesn't involve charge these are pericyclic and constant reaction but it matches with the concept so uh, for shortcut you can follow this method okay so again uh, the um, warning is that this is only applicable for thermal pericyclic reaction the for photos photochemical reaction the um, aspect will be completely different and i will talk about it more when i will discuss the pericyclic reactions in detail details okay so here for the for that case you are uh, putting this in this way so i am just uh, explaining is the, because if i don't explain it you will not get why i am writing this in this particular way okay so now if i draw it in particular in this particular way you will be uh, understand what is the mecha, what is the stereochemistry of the compound so you will be generating a six member ring over there and now you have there is a double bond so that is like this so a double bond is forming here okay now you have to uh, determine the stereochemistry of these two centers now you have to look very carefully 
so let's say uh, this dinophile dying part is in the bottom and this dinophile is uh, attacking upward so this is your uh, this is your uh, dying and dinophile is coming like this now if if the dying uh, dinophile that is this dinophile dinophile is is coming from the upside so it is come from upside and it is coming from downside okay so if it is co coming from upside then what will happen that uh, this the inner group that is this ester group which, which is at the inner side okay so this inner side group will always be placed in the upward direction so co2 me and hydrogen will be placed in the downward direction because if it if this group is like this and after this this uh, trigonal center is trans, uh, uh, transformed into, into the tetrahedral center it will be like it will going like this upward okay and hydrogen which is like this this will go downward direction so this is why this carbonyl group will be upward and this will be downward now what will be the stereochemistry of this center now in this case also the inner group which is hydrogen it, it is like this and attack or occurring over this so it will be in the downward direction so hydrogen will go downside and the, the group which is up uh, which is uh, outer side of the ring so this o o group so it will be upward direction okay o tbdms like this so the relation between these two is that this will also be upward and this will also be upward so let me write it clearly so you are getting like this OME and here you have O O T B D M S this and you have this. So this is your first step product. Now uh, you have to look at the relation between these two double bonds. So if you number them, you can see that one, two, three. And here again, one, two, three. So there is a three, three relationship. And you can push arrows like this. Okay. So this is a three, three sigma tropic rearrangement. Uh, yes, is it, that is the co rearrangement. Uh, name, the name is co rearrangement. And you will be getting CO2 Me. Here a double bond will be placed and you are getting O T B D M S. Okay. Now again the stereo chemistry of the center is important. Now you know this center is in upward direction. Okay. So this in this case this O group is upside. If the ring is flatter, I, if I consider the ring flat, then, then it is in upside. So it will also attack from the upside. If this is in upside, this is only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six membered cyclic transition state. So it has to attack from the upside. It cannot attack from the downside. Okay. If I draw it in chair form, it will be more clear. So this is my half chair form. It is alkene. So it will be half chair form. Now I uh, 1, 2, 3. Okay. So 1, 2, 3. Now if it is like say this. Uh, the group is here so you have um, o t b d m s and this okay so it has to always attack from this direction so if it is in upside it will be always attack from this direction it cannot attack like bending this and from this this cannot be possible it has to always attack from the same direction which uh, this group is attached so if there if this is upward if, if this group is uh, in seize with this then this group also will be seize with this so you are getting this product now after you treat this compound with water and heat it will just uh, so otbdps okay 
so it will just remove the TBDPS group and you will get this OH here. So acid, this acid group will be created. Now you are given options like they are they have given the same type of option. So uh, they given options like this. These four options they given. Okay, you can see these four options they given. So in one case uh, the relation between them is one two three, which is absolutely impossible because you can see this this is one two three four the relation is one four so this option is not correct again this is not also correct because it is also one three now between these two you have to choose and you can see that in this case only the both are in same direction and in this case opposite direction so option three is correct so in this question option three is correct answer so in this case you have to uh, just careful about the stereochemistry of the compound and you have to just follow the uh, um, follow the steps given by, uh, carefully and you will uh, easily get this compound so this is a four marker question and uh, it is very important hope you understand the concept and if you have any doubt regarding this how the stereochemistry comes or uh, why i am writing it in this particular way you can let me know in the comment section and if you like the video then please uh, give a thumbs up and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel for getting more videos like this thank you